In this video, I am going to talk about the inside communication system of Cardo. Are you curious what this system has to offer? Then make sure to keep on watching, because I will explain and demonstrate how to install and operate the communication system on the AGV Tour Modular. Hi everyone. My name is Liv from Champion Helmets and welcome to our channel. Before I start, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our reviews, road tests and guides. While you're at it, hit that like button and let us know in the comments what you think of this video. Before we start with the install of the communication system, let's start with a few general points first. The inside communication system has been specially developed for the AGV2 modular and can therefore only be used on this helmet. While its predecessor, the Sport Modular, comes with the Senna Arc communication system, which you attach to the helmet shell, AGV has upgraded this with the Tour Modular, integrating the Cardo Insight system inside the helmet instead of on the helmet. The Insight communication system comes with a suggested retail price of €329.95. The communication system is water resistant, so not waterproof. Driving for a long time in the pouring rain will not work out well, but you can get through a downpour without any problem. The system has a range of 1.2 kilometers and you can start a group conversation with up to 15 people. The battery also lasts 13 hours. The system is also equipped with a voice control, but more about that later. Okay, so let's see what's inside the box. When we open the box, we first see a headset with a back unit. You can see that one right here. When we take out this thing, we see a box. That thing is right here. Um, and uh, this box contains um, the microphone, the speakers, the speaker boosters and the Velcro pads. I will explain more on that later. Um, and also we see a USB charger and also we see a lot of manuals that are uh, available in English, German, French, Chinese, Italian and Spanish. So that's what's all inside of the box of the inside communication system. So now we know everything that's inside the box, let's start with the installation part. Before installing the communication system, make sure the helmet is on a soft surface. This prevents damage to the helmet. First of all, you start by detaching the cover at the bottom of the helmet. You can do this with this clip as an aid. This clip comes standard with the helmet in the box. When you have loosened the cover, you also remove the closure on which the headset is to be installed. This is on the left side behind the slider of the sun visor. First you press this button and then you can pull it off. This is quite stiff in the beginning because the sliding system that AGV has used clicks very firmly into place. Once the seal is loose, remove the cheek pad on the right side. This is because we are going to process the cables from the back unit behind. Ok, once the cheek pad is loose, grab the back unit and install it in the back of the helmet. You first remove this piece of foam and then you can click the unit into the helmet. After that, you pass the cables on the right under the finish of the helmet. When you have concealed the cables, you reattach the cover part. Before you do this, remove this piece first. This way you can easily charge the system. When the back unit is installed, you will attach the headset. You do this by sliding the headset into the helmet. Here too, you process the cable under the finish of the helmet. After that, you connect the microphone and the speakers to the back unit and then you click the microphone on the right side of the helmet. This is done in two steps. First, you put the microphone in like this and then you turn it a little bit until it clicks. If the microphone is in place, you put the cable through the specially built-in lock and you can install the speakers. You do this by placing them in the housing using these square adhesive pieces. To install the left speaker, first detach the cheek pad. Then make sure that you click the cheek pad back into the helmet. These Velcro boosters are supplied with the inside communication system. You can use this to raise the speakers if the speaker recesses in the helmet are too deep. Ok, now we've basically done everything to install the system. The last thing we need to do now is hide the cables. First, insert both the connected cables into the empty space between the outer shell and the inner shell on the right. Plug in the microphone cable first and then the other cable. Finally, loosen the top liner so that you can hide the speaker cable below. Once you have done this, you can reattach the liner to the helmet using the push buttons. 
Do this carefully so that you will not damage the cables. Nice! Now let's take a look at how the inside communication system works. The best advice on how to use the system is to read the user manual. Not everyone does this all the time, but eventually you will find the most answers to questions in here. To turn on the system, press and hold the phone and the play button at the same time. You will first see a flashing blue light that changes to green. If the light is green, it is on. To turn off the system, press the same two buttons at the same time again and you will see a red light flash. This means that it switches off. To turn the volume up or down, you see a plus and a minus button here. Plus is obviously harder and minus obviously softer. If you press both the plus and the minus at the same time, you mute the communication system. If you want to unmute the system, simply press the plus sign again to adjust the sound. To charge the system, first connect the USB. When you have done that, press the play button and the phone call button. The same way you turn the system on. This is the same way that you will start charging. If you don't do this, you will see that the light stays red and the system will not charge. If you did press the button, the light will flash from red to yellow. OK, now that we know how the system works, it's time to plug in our phone. To connect your phone to inside, press the phone button for 5 seconds. You will then see that the light will flash blue and red. Then turn on your phone's Bluetooth and connect to inside. If you want to add a second phone, press the phone icon twice and if you still want to connect to a GPS, press the plus sign once. If you want to disconnect, press the phone again for 5 seconds and you will see that the light will start flashing from blue to red again. Top. Now that your phone is connected, you naturally want to know how to take, hang up and make a phone call. To make a call, press the phone button once and the voice control will turn on. You can then say who you want to call and the number will be dialed. If you want to call back the last person you spoke to, press the call button twice and your last contact called will be dialed. If you have a list of people on your phone's speed dial list, you can call them by pressing the call icon three times. If you want to share your phone call with your DMC group, press the Wi-Fi button. If you want to stop sharing, press the Wi-Fi button again and the sharing will stop. To answer a phone call, you can press the Wi-Fi button as well as the play button and the phone button. All three buttons ensure that the incoming call is accepted. To ignore a call, press and hold the plus and the minus button at the same time. To decline a call, press the phone button twice and the call will be ended immediately. Ok, now that we know exactly how to call someone and how to take calls, all we need to know is how to hang up. You hang up by pressing the phone button once. We have now arrived at the last part of this how-to video, namely the radio and the music. To listen to the radio, press the play button twice. To turn off the radio, press and hold the play button for 2 seconds. To go to the previous channel, you have to press the play button twice. To go to the next station, press the play button once. To make an auto scan, hold down the plus sign for 2 seconds. To stop the auto scan again, press the play button. To listen to music, press the play button once. To switch off the music, press the play button for 2 seconds. To go to the previous song, just like the radio, press the play button twice. And to go to the next song, press the play button once. As we saw in the review, there are not many buttons, but every click on the same button means something different. So it can be quite complicated to know all these steps by heart. We have already mentioned it earlier in the review, but the inside communication system is equipped with voice control. This voice control makes using the system much easier and you will find that you hardly have to use the buttons. In the manual you can find per part which commands you can give, to make the operation of the communication system much easier. Ok, this brings us to the end of this how-to video. We have seen that the new communication system has been a real upgrade compared to AGV's previous system, which we saw on the Sport Modular. Communication system can be quite complicated to operate, but the voice control of the inside system makes it many times easier to use. If you are interested in the inside communication system, then take a look at championhelmets.com where we have the lowest price guarantee. Do you still need a new helmet and is the Tour Modular something for you? Then you can find attractive bundle deals for the purchase of this helmet in combination with the inside communication system. If you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments. If you have any further questions or comments, please feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching, my name is Liv from Champion Helmets and I will see you next time.